Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Filling with your power. Thank you. 
this week. Thank you for keeping us in your care and protection all week long, Lord. We thank you. We come to you open on tonight, ready to worship your holy name, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you lay down your life for us. And God, we give ours back to you, open and willing to serve you and worship you, God. Just thank you for your love your kindness and your faithfulness, your gentleness towards us, Father. Lord, we thank you for those that are here with us. We thank you for those that are even watching. We thank you for mom and dad on tonight. We thank you for the Abundant Grace Worship Ministries family. We thank you that you expand and increase our territory, God. In the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for all the blessings, everything that you have done thus far. We look forward to our future. We look forward to fulfilling our purpose here on earth. We thank you, God, that we live a life of Christ, God. And the people that will see us, they see your salvation in us. God, I just thank you for tonight, God. I thank you for the word that's going to come forth, God. God, I lay down, we lay down any arrogance. And, 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 and egos and any pride, God. We open ourselves up to learn more of you, to learn more of your word. We want the deeper revelation and knowledge that's going to come forth through our bishop, God. And we're just open yes, to know yes. you more. And for that, I'm grateful and yes, thankful God. to be yes, here tonight Jesus. to Hallelujah. give this word Ooh, and person. There is yes, nothing Lord. like being in the house of worship, Jesus. learning and studying and grabbing on the word of God. Help us to meditate on it day and night, God. Yes, and I just God. thank you forever and ever. Your name be praised and glorified. Amen. 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 And hallelujah. Our scripture reading tonight is taken from St. John chapter 15, reading from verse 1 to verse 8 and verse 16. St. John chapter 15, verse 1 to verse 8 and verse 16. Hallelujah. I am the true vine, and my father is is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, Hallelujah. except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Be empowered and be nourished 
with the word of God. Amen.
Hallelujah. Keep the crisis alive. Keep it going. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are God, holy and righteous. Yeah. 
Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone in the congregation and everyone on Facebook. On behalf of Bishop Ambrose and Pastor Veronica Ambrose and everyone in the congregation, I welcome you with a warm spirit for the Lord is in here tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. I ask you to bring your I ask you to bring your praises and open your hearts to receive healing, prosperity, yes. and joy tonight. Jesus. For the Lord has given us for tonight and forevermore. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. It has not been a Lord on our side. Where would we be? Jesus. But we thank God on this 16th day of the month of February. We thank God that God is good. The living God is so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. My soul say yes, yes to his will, and my soul say yes to his will. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to look to the person that you're sitting beside or you're standing beside, and those of you in the balcony and those of you around the world, find somebody that you you can speak to. Because I want you to help me to magnify this thought for tonight. Somebody can speak to it. Okay, I got you. You got a person. Tell a person supported, supported. by the root. By the root. Amen. Okay. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Lord. Now, uh, minister to them. Tell them you are supported by the root. You are supported Amen. by the root. Amen. Now, put your hand in the service. and say, I am supported. Amen. By the root. By the root. So many times we hear the word support. Support. Parents supposed to. I use the word supposed to. Support their children. And that word support is so large. It is not only support them in food and for the clothing, shelter over the heads. But that support, I, I, I look at television sometimes and when one of the parents is too busy in their career, it left the other parent to go to support that child at the basketball games, etc. And then a child will sometimes look in at the gate to see if the other parent is gonna come. Because sometimes the parents say, I will be there. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they get a call or they get held up. Uh, how do you really define support? Mm. Support by the root. The root here is Jesus. Amen. We read a scripture from St. John 15. Mm -hmm. uh, what I um, is down to pull up verse 1. They just give me a few verses from St. John 15. Because sometimes, saints of God, as Christians, as born-again believers, I believe that we're looking for that type of support from the wrong place. Yes. And if we don't get it from that place where we're looking, then we will throw the towel in. Jesus. And say, well, nobody supported me. Mm. Mm. And Jesus said, I am the what? Vine. Now, you all missed something there. You all missed one word. True vine. True vine. True vine. I am the true vine. Now, that let me know that there are many vines. But I am the true one. Do you have somebody in your life that when they say they're going to support you in that area? Hmm. That you would know without a shadow of a doubt that that is a true vine. Amen. Mm. Uh, let me bring that home a little. Let me bring that a little closer to home. So you, you send your child on a, on a journey. Whether it's a journey for college or a career. You send a child on a journey. 
and you tell the child, I will support you. Mm. Now, no matter what you have to do, mm -hmm. you want to keep that commitment. When they say, I will support you. Uh, if you say you are going to support me, every time I need support, <laughs> I should be getting from the vine. Amen. But how many times, amen, we hear, I will support you. Jesus. And then when you look around, the support is not there. Uh, somebody help me tonight. That's the truth, Bishop. Mm. I will support you. Mm. It should not be any doubt if we have children, we support them until they get to the age. Yes. And then after they start to work, and many times even after they start to work, they still need our support in some areas. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But I will support you. Jesus said, I am the true vine to let you and I know when he says he's going to support you. There is no obstacle. Amen. There is no season when it's winter, fall, summer, spring. Amen. There is no flood can stop him from supporting you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He said, I am the true vine and my father is a husbandman. My father is a vine dresser. Mm -hmm. You got to be very careful who is what to sell. Amen. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta be very, very saints of God. You gotta be very, very, very careful of your surroundings. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Those of you that have gardens, you know without a shadow of a doubt, you don't allow any 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 person to go into your garden. That's right. Because look, amen. If I step into the garden over there, I might think that it's just oh, that's a bush. Yes. <laughs> but that's a valuable flower. Yes, yes. Good God Almighty. Yes. Mm. My father is a husband. He's a vine dresser. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly what to take out of the garden. Yes. He knows exactly where to step. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. He know what to avoid. He can see all of the insects mm. that is coming to attack the vine. Amen. Oh, God, I thank you. Mm. My father, amen, is a husband, man. Jesus is saying to somebody tonight, I am the true vine, amen. I am the root. Uh -huh. I am the one that is supporting you and my father, amen, is watching around the vine, around the wood, to make sure no insect, no contaminants, amen, nothing can come to the vine, amen, to hinder the support that is coming to you. Amen. Oh, somebody amen. praise God. God. Mm. Because you don't know, they have a thing they call parasites. Mm -hmm. And they have a called telomites. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're going to buy a house, Amen. You want to take a termite inspection. It's a termites. Uh -huh. Says God, termites eat from the inside out. Yes. Amen. So you see a wood have the same shape, mm -hmm. mm. the same dimension, but if termites are in there, amen. It's just a matter of time before that wood just fall apart. And when they do termite inspection, they have a way to, to poke the wood to see if it's hollow. You, you do know some wood are hollow. Yes. Because termite is on the inside. And termites are very, very small. You need a good fine dresser to detect termites. Yes. So the Lord is saying, I am the true vine. Mm -hmm. I am supporting you and you don't have to worry about termites and parasites and all those insects because my father is a vine dresser and he will make sure every termite and parasite that shows up, he's going to get rid of it. 
Mm, look at verse 2. Mm. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take it away. I started to study branches. And I, I'm not going to go in a direction where some branch just refuse to produce fruit. Uh -huh. Because we have a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have a lot of that. Some branch, they will not produce any fruit no matter how much sap they get. Uh -huh. They determine not to produce any fruit. They determine, amen, not to do anything good. But I want to talk to the branches tonight, amen, that are way down. You're under the weight, under the pressures of life. That you don't feel like bearing any more fruit. Sometimes we see people in church. And they're praising God. They're worshiping they're singing, they're playing instruments. We see them in church, but we don't know the weight that they are under. Mm -hmm. And then there are some people at the point where I don't want to be, I just don't want to produce any more food because there's too much weight. You ever see a, a branch with all of the foods on there that's way down? Yes. And we pick all the foods off, and the brown just rise back up yes. and then just weigh down again. And something like it's going to fall on the tree. Yes. And then we pick the fruits and it rise back up. And every time it rises back up and more fruits get on the vine, come all the way back down. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if the branch could speak tonight mm. and say, I'm, I'm just tired of being weighed down. Jesus. God Almighty. These are the branches I want to talk to tonight. Every branch in me that be with not food, he take it away. Those branches taken away, the, those branches are the ones that refuse to bear. But a branch that are bearing food, he will purge them that will bring forth more food. And if you're way down tonight, amen, because of all of the foods that you're bearing, God is saying to you tonight that I will support you. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, give, uh, give me the mic stand over there, say, look. Right now, no, this one over here, right over here. The mic stand. Uh, Willis, I need it tonight. Thank God for Willis. So, Claudia, you, you probably remember, also, you all can remember when the branch has so much food, put your hand up here. Now, put your hand like this. Above, above it, above it. When a brand got so much food, mm -hmm. even what we used to do, and the brand is going down with food, mm -hmm. we'll put something under there. Yes, to hold it up. Yes, we we'll catch it up. Y'all yes. remember that, right? Amen. Yes. What does this, what this catch do, amen? It support this branch. Yes. Without this, keep on going down. The branch will be going down. Yes. And then you pick the food. And you keep on going now. So we just put something under there and catch it up. That's what God is saying to somebody tonight. Jesus. I'm going to support you. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody help me praise God. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to support you. It seems as if, amen, it is so heavy. It seems as if you are carrying so much. Good God Almighty. But you are supported by the roots. I feel like shouting, amen, because I just got a flashback, hallelujah, that when some people withdraw their catch, some people withdraw their support, amen, God just sent more support, hallelujah. oh somebody help me praise God, oh somebody tonight help me praise God, when it seems as if you're going down, amen, and sometimes your, your eyes are closed, but God have another catch, supported by the roots you, oh, somebody help me praise God saints of God don't worry about that support amen that left your branch to go down God said I will support you Hallelujah, Jesus. oh God I thank you oh 
mama said, I will support you. They may cut back on your money, but I will support you. Good God Almighty. He walked out on you, but I will. I will support you. Jesus. You are supported by the root. Good God Almighty. I will not take you away because you are being with fruit. I will not cut you off because you're being with fruit. Hallelujah. I will not get rid of you because of the weight that's on you. I will support you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Good God, thank you. Every branch that bears fruit, he purged it. He supported it that he may bring forth more fruit. Good God Almighty. And if you got to use more than one catch, one over there and one over there, if you got to use more than one, good God Almighty, the Lord knows exactly how to support you. Amen. Look at the next verse, Amen, Mr. Darling. Jesus. Mm. Go, go on, keep on going down. Hallelujah. He said, abide in me. Mm. Mighty God. Good God. Just stay in me. Mm. Jesus. Stay connected. Yeah. Mm. Stay with your praise. Mm. Just stay with your worship. Oh God, just stay in me. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't care how it seems on the left and right. Amen. The north, the south. Amen. Just stay right there in me. Abide in me and I in you because you cannot be a fool of yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Except you abide in the vine. Glory to God. Look at the next verse. Hallelujah. He said, I am the vine mm. and you are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same branch will bring forth much fruit. Much fruit. How many of you want to bring forth much fruit tonight? Or oh, somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, God, I thank you. God's going to send some support your way, amen. God is going to catch, catch you up, amen. He's going he gonna to put something on it to hold you up, amen. Because you are willing. And those fools that you were being, people thought that they were so much. But they know when God started blessing you more. Oh, somebody help me tonight. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. It's the one thing about when God is extending you. Mm. Huh. When God is extending you. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Mm. You see, that branch started very short. Yes. And it just started to protrude out more and more. Yes. And the more it protrudes out, they may the more support it need. Yes. God will just extend you. He will just strengthen you. Yes. Oh. Some of you, you know, they have some, some banks. Uh, let's use Chase Bank. But they have many branches. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Many branches. When God is ready to extend you, mm -hmm. amen, when God is ready to extend himself, he's going to extend himself through the branches. Yes. Good God Almighty. And God is about, amen, to extend some of us. Because God knows, amen, that we want to bear much fruit. Amen. Good God. Some people that you're praying for. Mm -hmm. He said every branch that don't bear fruit, he cut off. These are the branches that refuse to bear. Mm -hmm. It is not because they did not get any sap. Not because they were not connected to the vine or to the root, mm -hmm. but they refused to bear any fruit. Mm -hmm. You got some people like that. Yes. They will eat all of the food or the sap out of the root, mm -hmm. but they just refuse to bear any fruit. Jesus. Good God Almighty. Look at the Second Chronicles 7 and 14 and 15. Second Chronicles some people that they're praying for, they just need you to give them some directions. Not saying that they will accept your direction that you give them. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know some people that we say we're praying for, that prayer is not even effective? 
Look what the Lord say. He said, eat my people. My people. Who are what? Who are called by my name. Shall do what? Some people just still humble themselves. Well, pray for me, Pastor. Okay, I just want you to humble yourself. You don't need prayer. You need some directions. Humble yourselves and what? Pray. Either humble themselves and pray. And see God's face. Not just try to find how he look or where he is. But seek ye first, you remember, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. Seek the reign of God. Hallelujah. And turn from their wicked ways. God said, if they do that, I will hear from heaven. In other words, I don't want to hear them pray. Amen. Don't even come to pray on their behalf. Tell them to humble themselves, pray, and see God's face. Amen. See God's amen, direction. And when they receive the direction, turn from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. The Lord said, then will I hear from heaven. And then will I forgive their sin. And then will I heal their land. Hallelujah. Well, Bishop, pray that I get a healing. No, I'm not going to pray get a healing. Just turn from your wicked ways. Because the way that you're going right now, you're not going to get no healing. Amen. Tell somebody to make a right about turn. Jesus. Let's turn. Turn. I'm not wasting my time and fasting for you. And you out there doing all that evil. I'm not, I'm not giving up my lunch for you. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm not doing it. Hey, but turn from the wicked ways. Turn, turn. Yes. That's right. That part. That's the truth. That's it. And humble himself. The Lord said, now my eyes shall be open. Yes, now, now, now. After you do all those things, and now my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. You want God to support you? Amen. You have to turn from your evil ways. Yes. Yes. You got to turn. Good God Almighty. You want God to support you? You have to humble yourself. You have to humble yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want God to support you? Seek God's direction. Seek Him. Amen. amen. Don't get in the prayer line and ask the ministers of God, amen, to bombard heaven on your behalf and you're not living right. Everybody have a prayer request. And they want God to support them. Support their habits. You know how many people God bless with, with, with jobs and they don't even bring forth a food? Mm. You know how many people God bless with homes and, and God bless you so much and they don't even bring forth a food? Jesus. Good God Almighty. Mm. Look at Romans 11. Verse 16 to 23. Romans chapter 11. Supported by the root. This scripture in this context is talking about Israel and the Gentiles. Because Jesus Christ came first to the Israelites. The Hebrews. The Jews. And then the Gentiles, when the fullness of time was come, mm -hmm. the Gentiles were grafted in. It was all in God's plan. All in his plans. So the first food, if the first food be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, we're talking about the root tonight. Yes, yes. Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. If the root be holy, so are the branches. Yes, yes. yes. Now look at it. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, talking to the Gentiles, the branches, the Hebrews, the Jews, Israelites, if they were broken off, and there'll be a wild olive tree, wild grafted in among them. Mm -hmm. And with them partakers of the root mm -hmm. and fatness of the olive tree. So picture them now. First he came to them, then he 
open to the whole world. So the Gentiles were the wild olive tree and they were grafted it. You know they have grafted mango? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, yes. Uh, and grafted oranges? Yes. You know how they graft those things? Mm -hmm. They take a branch yeah, from, from that tree over there from that. and they stick it into that tree over there and that new branch that is in the tree, now we get some life from that tree there. Yes. And they start to bear yes. out of the tree. And now it bears some grafted oranges or grafted mangoes. Yes. Yes. Good God Almighty. So when you're grafted in, amen. We were Gentiles, amen, and we are grafting. That's why Ephesians chapter 2, God has broken down the middle wall of petitions that was between us. Yes. Mm. Because we were strangers and foreigners yes. to the commonwealth. Yes. What was common to that, we were strangers and foreigners to that. Mm -hmm. But now we are all fellow citizens yes. in the household of faith. Amen. We were grafted and we were adopted into God's mm -hmm. family. Every person except Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you are adopted into his family. Amen. He says, so boast not against the branches. Don't boast. Because if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. In other words, I tell somebody, what do you really have to boast about? Come on, somebody. What, 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 what do you really have to boast about? I mean, so what, what, do you, what, what do you really have to boast about? Amen. Come back to the verse here, amen. Boast not against the branches. Those that were cut off. Not because you are connected to the vine, connected to the root. Don't boast against them. Because if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thing. Remember, you are not supporting the root, but the root is supporting you. Amen. Good God Almighty. Jesus. Amen. So we don't have nothing. You listen to some people's testimonies mm -hmm. and how they boast about their accomplishment uh -huh. as if they were not supported by the by root. The Jesus. Good God Almighty. Well, I do this, and I stayed up all night, and I went to university, and I, 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 and this is what I achieve. You better thank God for the root that supported you. Amen. Uh, that's a part of humble yourself. Mm. Look at the next verse now. Mm -hmm. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. In other words, you can look at it that way. But we know the fullness of time came. Yes. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. You, you want to underline that? Because that is a, a strong statement to you and me. Because, say, so look, they were connected. But because of the unbelief, they were broken off. Mm -hmm. Okay, but thank you. Jesus. And they just say this, amen, down, down there, amen, in the balconies of, of, of God's people. Because of their unbelief, they, they were broken yeah, off. Wow. In other words, if you're connected to Jesus, and you're still living in unbelief. Be very careful that he don't break you off. Jesus. Hebrews 11, 6. Hold a finger right there, but pull that up. Hebrews 11, verse 6. Look at what he said there. He said, but without faith. Without faith. It is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. So yes. that unbelief is like they're connected to God, but they don't really believe that he's God. Mm -hmm. 
or he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that he asks or even think. Unbelief. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. What some people like when they don't believe that God can heal them. Let's, let's watch them. What some people like when they don't believe that God will provide for them. What some people like when they don't believe that God know even how to protect them. Jesus. Unbelief caused them to be broken off. Jesus. You ever work with a group of people and they're full of so much negative things that you just want to fire them or get out of their company? Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all too young for those stuff. Uh, go back to Romans, amen? But you, 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 you got some folks, that word committee, that so many, many of our churches have, committee. Committee is a team. Mm -hmm. a That's it. Yes. Committee is a team. You, you, you got people working together as a team. Yes. So this is a look now. If, if you are the captain of the team, and you see some people that, it, that was drafted in your team don't want to produce any fruit. They don't want to practice. Mm -hmm. They want to come out to play when it's nice and sunny. Maybe around 79 degrees. It can't be too hot. It can't be too cold. They don't come out when it's raining. They will come at a certain time. Yeah. And you know that you cannot function like that. Because you are an all seasoned person. Yes. Could somebody help me praise God. Yes. And you have faith enough mm -hmm. that the same God that support in spring will support in the summer and the fall and the winter. Yes. But when the fact is people are on your team. And now you have to forfeit some game because you don't have enough people on the team. They require the amount. It is better if you get rid of unfaithful team members. Uncommitted. Amen. Uncommitted team members and get others. The Lord is saying to somebody tonight. They were broken off because of unbelief. In other words, if you're walking with the Lord yes. and you don't believe that he's God yes. and you don't believe that he's able, then be very careful he don't just cut you off. That's it. That's it. That's it. That was said that the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Mm. Look on some more. Mm. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. Mm -hmm. And thou standest by faith. Mm -hmm. I tell somebody I'm standing by faith tonight. I am standing by faith tonight. Mm. Don't worry about those that were broken off. Mm. You stand by faith. You see, a person walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. Something a person might be all alone. We know God is there with you at all times. Mm -hmm. You remember Abraham? Leave all of the others. Leave all of them. And you go where I send you. That's it. Go to the place. That's what did he do? He had Lot. Yes. See, Lot name is not just because of Lot, but it means something. Mm -hmm. You have Lot with him. Yes. Lay aside every weight. Wow. That's it. Lay aside. He came a lot with him. They went to a place and Lot said, okay, I want that green place over there. Fighting, break out, Sodom and Gomorrah, all these things. Old Abraham, they're praying for Lot. The Lord, if you find 40 people, 30 people, 10 people, uh, praying for Lot. Lot should come. I like Paul. Yes. One time Paul went on a missionary journey. <laughs> mm, and Mark 
Mark took up, took off. Mark couldn't stand the heat, he took off. You know, Paul and Barnabas, they were close friends. Because Barnabas was there to encourage Paul when he got saved. So now they're going on the next journey. And Barnabas said, take Mark with you. Paul said, no. Uh, I, I don't, I, no, 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 no. Not on the ship here. He, 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 he ran, amen. We were out there and he ran away. I'm not taking him. No. Mm. I don't want no unbelief in my camp. None. Good none, God Almighty. None, Bishop. Mm. None. I don't want no unbelief in my camp. Amen. None, if you don't believe God, amen, get out. Get out of the camp. That's it. Uh, he said, I'm not going to take Mark. He said, come on, Silas. Silas was an, a no-name person. Who heard of Silas? But where, where was Silas? He said, come on, Silas. Silas so was so happy. Yes. I'm going to pray with you, Paul. Uh -huh. I'm going to fight with you. Yes. And they get locked up. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Silas and Paul get locked up in jail. You know the Bible? Yes. Hmm? And they were singing and praising yes. God. Yes. Yes. Oh, Paul looked at Silas and Silas just praising God. Yes. Silas didn't know no better. I got to praise God. That's it. That's I'm it. Lord, I thank you. Yes. Because when my voice gets a little weak, there was a silence over there. Yes, Good God, when my eyes get a little dim, there's a silence over there. Yes. Somebody say, I will support you, God says. Yes. Good God, you're supported yes. by the Lord. Mighty God. And all Paul and Silas started praising the Lord. Amen. It was about 7 p.m. and they were still praying and praising God. 8 o'clock came and they were still praising God. Nine o'clock came and I was still singing and praising God. Ten o'clock came and I was singing and praising God. Eleven o'clock came and I was praising God. Eleven thirty, they were still praising God. Eleven forty, they were praising God. Eleven fifty, eleven fifty nine, and at midnight, somebody shot midnight. Jesus stepped in. And all the bands were loose. The shackles came off with their feet. Could God support them by the root? Oh, God, I thank you. Saints of God, there was a silence. God is sending your way. Oh, God, Mark forsook you, but God got a silence. God got somebody that's going to pray. He got a somebody that's going to praise God. Oh, God, I thank you. Supported by the roots. Supported by the roots. You don't know who God is going to send into your life. Hallelujah. You don't know where he or she's going to come from. Amen. But God is the one. I am the vine. And you are the branches. I will support you. Oh, God, I thank you. When you come to God, yes. you must believe that He is God. Yes. And He's a reward of them that diligently seek Him. Yes. Look at what He said here now. Hallelujah. Amen. Be not I mind. That's it. He said, because of unbelief, yes. they were severed, severed. broken up. Some people say, well, I left. You didn't leave. God cut you off. Yes. Yes. You didn't leave nothing. God cut you off, broke you off. Ah, yes. And thou stand yeah. by faith. He said, Don't be high minded, saints. But fear. But fear. That's reverence, God. Jesus. Stay committed to Him. Yes. Because if God spared not the natural branches, and take, take heed, lest He also spare not thee. Good God Almighty. Jesus. He said, You are not exempt from being cut off. That's a word. But they stay right in your faith. That's the word. Oh God, man. don't let no unbelief come into your spirit. Amen. No matter what they're saying in the right ear and your left ear, amen. Don't let no unbelief come into your spirit. None. Look at the next verse here. What he said here. Mm. For, for God speared not the natural birth. Good God. Mm. What is verse? What verse twenty two says? We did. Behold. He said, Behold. Therefore. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Look at it now. We're going to see two words in here. Uh -huh. 
goodness and severity. Yes. He said, look at the goodness and the severity of God. Mm. Look at God's kindness. Yes. And look at God's severe punishment. Uh -huh. mm. Mm -hmm. Somebody help me praise God tonight. Amen. Yes. yes. Give me a portion of that song, Your Grace and Mercy. Jesus. There's a portion of it. Mighty God. <laughs> Your grace and mercy brought me through.
worship him down there in St. Lucia. He's the king of kings and he is the lord of lords. Grace and mercy. Oh, severity of God those two words on them which fell severity God severe punishment on them that fell those that cut off but to word you God said tonight his goodness It is the goodness of God towards us tonight. Towards you, towards you. Across the islands of the sea. That are still connected to God. With all the pressures of life. You still abide in Him. But toward the goodness. Is it if thou continue in his goodness otherwise thou shall thou, thou also shall be cut off saints of God no matter what pressure you are under continue God's goodness but look at God's mercy and they also if they abide not still in unbelief, yes. shall be grafted in. Yes. For God is able to graft them in yes. again. Hallelujah. Mm. That's God's mercy. Mm. Say so if you were cut off because of unbelief, if the living God is not listening to your prayer, 
because of your unbelief or because of evil ways. God wants to turn tonight. Humble yourself. Seek his face. Seek his direction. And you'll be grafted in again. Mm. Those of you that God's goodness is on your life right now. Don't let nothing, no unbelief come into you. Don't walk away from his goodness. But continue right there. And let the Lord continue to support you in all areas of your life. You are supported by the root. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God, we thank you for blessing us and keeping us. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Lord, in St. John 15, verse 16, I was read tonight. He said that you have not chosen. We have not chosen you, but you have chosen us. And you have ordained us that we should go and bring forth much fruit. Thank you, Lord, that you are supporting us to bring forth much fruit. Thank you for the sap, Lord Jesus, that you are out of the root into the branches. Every strength that we need, every vitamins, every nutrients, every knowledge, everything that we need, Lord Jesus, you have provided for us. You have given to each and every one of us the measure of faith. And Lord, we thank you. You have given us power over all the works of the enemy. Lord, we thank you. You have given us a spirit of discernment. Lord, we thank you. Mm. Lord, we thank you that you promise us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And nothing can stop you from loving us. So Lord, tonight we commit ourselves to you again. And Lord, we say not our will, but let your will be done in our life. We will forever give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Bless each and every person under the sound of my voice. Those that need to make a turn around, oh God, strengthen them, Lord Jesus, as they make this turn. Oh God, those that need to seek your directions, give them the patience, Lord Jesus, oh God, to seek your directions and give them a willing heart to follow your lead. We will forever give you all the praise and glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Mr. Don is going to come tonight to receive our nice offering. If we need an emblem, please raise your hand and our faithful sister Willis will get one into your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Let's not forget that Friday night is Youth Fellowship. And Saturday is Women what? Women of Excellence. Women of Excellence Fellowship. At what time? 12 o'clock? Noon. 12 noon. The young youth have a very important rehearsal they wanted on Friday. They prepared for the last Sunday of this month, Black History Month. Amen. Yes. So it's very, very important. We start at 7 30. Amen. Let's all stand, Almighty God. We thank you for this opportunity to come to give. We come giving cheerfully. We come giving generously. Bless each and every one of us that give tonight. Amen. Oh God, bless those that don't have to give in a special way that they would have to give the next time. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.